Hello and welcome back to the Rope Access and Climbing Podcast. I'm your host, Mikey Stevenson, and today I'm talking about working alone at heights. If this is your first time here, please make sure to subscribe and follow us wherever you get your podcasts. So stay tuned. Step into your harness and get ready for a podcast about the vertical world. All right, well, let's dive into today's episode. All right, so today's episode is going to be a little different than normal. So today's episode is a little bit more of a call to action, if you will. Um, I want to start a conversation to find out about working at height alone. And if this is something that you're familiar with, if this is common practice in your industry, and um, let's talk about uh, what that kind of looks like. Now, to kind of understand a little bit where this came from, um, if you've been paying attention to me on, on Instagram, I've been posting a couple photos of where I've been. So this last week I was uh, in Alberta, Canada, uh, washing some windows. Now, all is well, beautiful weather, uh, the job was fun. Uh, me and the owner of the company that contracted me, um, we went down, washed some windows. He only gets this one building um, a year, so it's kind of fun. And for me, the, for someone who doesn't wash windows uh, very much, um, it's kind of a nice little change. So anyways, so going back to this working alone at heights aspect of things. So as we're doing our uh, building and washing windows on our building, uh, in the distance, there is a, another individual working alone on another structure Now, um, only ever seen one person on the job. So, you know, this individual, I have no idea or don't understand, um, their background. Um, I don't know if they're a level one, a level two, a level three, what certification they have. Um, and I can definitely verify that this individual was not working on a bosun's chair. So just to be specific, we are operating under a rope access system, a two rope rope access system. Now, under SPRAT and under IRATA, both organizations do require you to have a two-person crew. It doesn't matter what that looks like. Um, With IRATA, they do dictate that a level three must be able to oversee the work and the scope of uh, work being done. This is operating under an IRATA company. Um, With SPRAT, they do allow level twos to supervise work, providing they're in direct contact with a level three or a supervisor. Now, that being said, this individual was working alone. Now, in Alberta and Alberta OHS, it does dictate that you do have to work in pairs, like you cannot work alone. Um, I don't wish this upon anybody to be forced to work alone. Um, but also at the same time, if you're a level one or if you're a level two or a level three, it doesn't matter what level you are, you cannot work by yourself. What is your rescue plan? I've talked on this podcast about analyzing your risk, um, you know, and talking about the rescue plan and stuff like that and access methods. You have to think about it. Like what's your rescue plan? How are you going to execute the job? Here, it's just get the job done and not worried about the rescue. 911 is not a rescue plan if you're the only person there to do the job. If no one knows that you're there, how are you ever going to get rescued? Not to mention, here in Alberta, the rescue plan is solely put on the employer. The rescue is up to you. 911 is not a rescue plan. Okay? So at the end of the day, you have to look out for that. Now, also to capitalize on all of this, myself and the owner of the company were stopped by Alberta OHS. We were inspected, our job was inspected by OHS, and they did request all our paperwork and our logbooks. This in which we were able to provide. However, 
they were less worried about our job because we were working in pairs and more worried about the guy that was working on the other building by himself and wondering who that individual was. Now, for us, we don't know who that was. For us, we don't really want to get involved with that. But at the end of the day, that is what they were out looking for. They were looking for something. They seen something, they seen an unsafe act, and the Alberto h and individuals were looking for that. Now, from a educator in this industry, this isn't something that is completely frowned upon. You can't work by yourself. It's, it's completely unacceptable. So I want to know, do you work by yourself? And if so, I want to understand why. I want to have this conversation with everybody. Now, I know in the oil and gas industry, this is not something that we have to worry about. You do not work by yourself in the oil and gas industry. That's that's for sure. I spent most of my time working in the oil and gas industry. Um, But is this something that's common practice in the window washing industry? Is it something that's common practice in the slope stabilization industry? Is this something that is common in the inspection industry? These are things that I don't know, and I'm asking for your input to help me understand. Now, please reach out to me. You can uh, find me at Instagram. That will be uh, ropeaccess underscore and underscore climbing. Uh, as well, you can track me down on Facebook, send me messages there, Mikey Stevenson on Facebook. And if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments below um, what industry that you work in and the kind of the why of why you are in that position of working alone. At the end of the day, I am more worried about your safety and your crew's safety than the difference of checking a box on a piece of paper to ensure, oh, You know, you checked that hazard or you checked that hazard. I want to know that everyone in here as an industry whole is looking out for each other and we can work together to better our industry as a whole. Maybe there's not enough emphasis on this in other industries, a small industry aspect of things. Maybe we're taking too many shortcuts and you know what happens when we start taking shortcuts. We're bound to have an incident, but we're working off ropes. You're certified to a standard, either SPRAT or IRATA here in North America. It's talked about that you can't work without a level three, but yet here we have people taking shortcuts and working by themselves. At the end of the day, we got to look out for each other and we got to make this industry better. All right. Well, thank you very much for tuning into today's episode. If uh, you are watching this on YouTube, please make sure to hit the like button to show the support and let me know in the comments below what industry you're working in and if you are aware of other people working alone. Like I said, this is a call to action. I want to have a conversation. This is not to point the finger. This is not to say right and wrong. This is about having a discussion and understanding. Like I said, I don't know All right. I want to learn at the end of the day. Okay. All right. Well, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications as I put new videos out and new podcasts out every week. And don't forget to follow us wherever you get your podcasts until next time.